Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Bill Elaine became Mississippi's 59th governor in 1984 after spending 17 years in the state attorney general's office. Born and raised near Natchez in Adams County, Elaine went on to graduate from Notre Dame University. He received his law degree from the University of Mississippi in 1950 after serving a three-year stint in the U.S. Army during the Korean War. Elaine practiced law in Natchez. He became an assistant state attorney general in 1962 and was elected attorney general in 1979. Elaine's most notable achievement as attorney general was winning a 1983 state Supreme Court decision removing legislators from state executive boards. I am a firm believer in separation of powers, Elaine said in 1988. We can work together, but no branch should encroach unlawfully into the other branches of government. Elaine was the first Mississippi governor in modern times who could have sought a second consecutive term after the ban on gubernatorial succession was lifted in 1986. However, he chose not to seek re-election in 1987. In his farewell address before leaving the governor's office in 1988, Elaine noted he took some unpopular stands, such as vetoing a major highway construction program financed by a tax increase that were overridden or weren't enacted. However, he did administer measures that recognized government agencies and brought more women and African Americans into leadership positions. I think we were able, in a quiet way, to bring about change in this state. Good change. Change for the betterment of the people of Mississippi, he said. Elaine died on this date, December the 2nd, in 2013, at age 85. I'm Tom Elaine, nephew of Bill Elaine, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.